Hi guys, we are back again. I hope you all had a wonderful week. Uh, so today we're going to talk more about Jesus. And who did we talk about last week? Does anyone remember? It was Simeon. Simeon, good job. So did Simeon, did Simeon love God and trust God? Yes. And we said that we can love and trust God too, right? Yeah. So, um, we're going to go backwards just a little bit. A lot of the prophets that we've talked about, they all said that Jesus was, that God was going to send a Savior, right? Yeah. And was it a short little bit of time between all of those prophets talking and Jesus coming? Mm-mm. It was hundreds and hundreds of years. I went all the way back to Isaiah. And Isaiah was hundreds of years before Malachi. And Malachi was 400 years before Jesus. So it was a long, 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 long time. Okay? But the point is, Jesus, be, Jesus being born and living and dying for our sins, that proved that those prophets were telling the truth, right? So, is how do we know that the New Testament is true? It is, and we know it is, but if you're walking around and someone says, how do you know it's true? You haven't seen Jesus. How do you know? We can tell them. Because we're about to find out. Okay. Alright. So, we're going to read John 14.25. And it says, Jesus is talking here. So, these are John. this is John writing down what Jesus said. These things I have spoken to you while being present with you. So, John knew Jesus. And John, John was one of his disciples, one of his friends. So he didn't just know that Jesus was there. He followed him around and he ate supper with him. And he like walked all around the countryside with Jesus and the rest of the disciples. And a few, pe a few of the disciples wrote books of all about Jesus. And that's where we get a lot of our Bible stories about Jesus. Okay. So listen to this next part. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He will teach you all things. Okay? So, who, is Je who did Jesus say would come? The Helper. Good job. And what was the Helper's name? It's the Holy Spirit. You're right. It worked. Alright. So, even though we can't we can't sit here and we can't talk to Jesus. How do we how do we talk to Jesus though? We pray. Good job. And the Holy Spirit helps guide us, right? Yes. Okay. So. In another verse. John is going to talk about himself and why exactly, why exactly we believe that, you, that this is all true. Where is the verse? Okay. All right. They told me the wrong verse. Cool. Okay. So, never mind. Uh, way, 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 way later in the Bible, in a book written by a guy named Timothy. God uses Timothy to tell the people all scripture, meaning all the Bible, is God-breathed. So, what does that mean? Does that mean that God, God wrote the Bible? Because God used men to write the Bible. But who helped the men write it? Did they just think, oh, I'm going to write a story about Jesus? 
they had the Holy Spirit to help guide them and say, hey, this is what you should write about. And in the same verse in 1 Timothy, God also uses Timothy to say, all scripture is God-breathed and useful for teaching, rebuking, and training in righteousness. So not only is it God-breathed, which means that God helped write it, but we use the Bible even now to teach people. Like, I'm teaching you guys about Jesus. And when you get older, you'll go to Mr. Charlie's class and he'll teach. Or you might go to a big, huge college where they use the Bible to teach. Or when you get a little older, you'll go over to big church. And Pastor Vic uses the Bible to teach all the grown-ups. I use, I use the Bible. So. <sighs> so we can trust that all the Bible is true. And we know that, because like I said, it is God-breathed. So, Jesus and God helped write it. And let's think for a second. Can, can God lie? No. So if God says something, or if God uses a man to say something, does that mean it's, get, it's true? Yes. And since God never lies, can we trust God? Yes, we definitely can. And since we can trust God, I know I'm, I've got a lot of things I'm trying to connect here. I know you guys are hold, you're hanging on, you're doing great. I'm so proud of you. But if we can trust God and if we can trust Jesus, can we trust the Bible that they can we trust the Bible that they helped write? Yes, yeah, good job, good work. All right, so I've got a couple questions because I know that was a little bit of a weird thing. We, we were kind of talking about Jesus, but also kind of not. So, let's see. First one, was John, was John telling the truth? Yes, he was, because the Holy Spirit helped guide him to write the book. Yes. And... Who did, who did John write about? John wrote about Jesus. Good job. Now, how did John know so much about Jesus? Because the Holy Spirit helped him, and because John was one of Jesus' good friends, right? If you're good friends with someone, are you going to know a lot about them? Yeah. So not only did John um, have help from the Holy Spirit, but he also knew Jesus. How cool would that be to get to know Jesus? That would be pretty cool. All right. And why John wrote about Jesus, but what did Jesus do? Why did Jesus come to the earth? To Save us from our sins. You're right. Good work. Alright. Yeah, Jesus came to save all the sinners like you and me. And when he died on the cross, he took the punishment that we should have gotten. Is that amazing? And because, because of Jesus dying and because of the Holy Spirit, we can talk to Jesus just like John would have. Although we can't see him face to face, but we still can. All right, that's all I have for did today. Uh, another really, really short one, and I know it was kind of weird. If you guys have any questions, you can ask your parents. And parents, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to come ask us at church. I can answer as much as I can. Um, and. and Miss Amy, Mr. Charlie, Pastor Vic, we're all um, more than happy to help you if you need it. So, thank you all so much, and I hope you have a good week.